Hello, been a minute. <laughs> um, I thought I'd start this next, next leg of our journey and show you what's happening. You can already see here the beginnings of it. Um, I'm moving. Uh, the house is up for sale. I don't know if I've mentioned this in the video. I think I have. Um, and my lease is finished in three weeks and they want to put the rent up to $500 a week and I can't live on $10 a week so the next alternative was to try and move. I've been looking for a place to move now for, I'm just going to have to lean against the door. I've been looking for months since before Christmas. It's now 7th of February, I think. 6th, 7th of February. Sorry for the shaking. <laughs> it's very, very hot today. And I've just been up and down the stairs about six, seven times. <sighs> Getting boxes. Um, so, yeah. So, that's, that's what's happening. Um, I actually have, for the first time in my life, I've rented since I was 17. And have never moved back home in all that time. So I have rented since I was 17. I'm 54 this year. So, you know, been renting for quite some time. Um, and in all that time, I've never been declined for property ever. Until this time now. Like, I have actually, I've put in applications now for at least half a dozen properties. And some of them didn't even let me know that I was declined. One that I was declined for, which was in South Grafton. <laughs> so, you know, where all the meth heads are. Um, and then they continued to have it up on the website. So they were looking for someone with a better rental history than me. Good luck with that. I've never been late with my rent. I've never lost a bond. I am... A good tenant so anyway but anyway so <laughs> I put in an application for a house at Lawrence and the house honestly it's a lovely little house it's only a two-bedroom house but it had a big uh, six meter by six meter double garage down below with storage under the house as well and I thought this is perfect so of course I fell in love with the house yeah so I applied for the house in Lawrence and they said oh yeah we've had a few applications already so I thought, oh no, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hold out, you know. It's a cute little house. That views were beautiful out over the Clarence River, and you could see the ferry and everything. It was just, oh, the views, honestly. And the, and the so, and the kitchen bench was in front of the view, so it would have been a beautiful place to soap, um, make videos. So I was, this was perfect. Anyway, two weeks go by. I've rung them half a dozen times. Still nothing. No, no, we're still, we're still going through applications. I'm like, this is fucking ridiculous. So I put in applications for a bunch of other places and, yeah, just got just got knocked back half a dozen times, which, honestly, I was already pretty down anyway. Like, things... I see, I hate, I hate whinging and I do it all the time. But things are bad. Like... If, if, it ha if it wasn't, and this, I hate saying this, but it's the truth, and if it helps someone deal with their issues, then it's worth it. But it's gotten to the point where I'm making so few sales now that if Dad hadn't have put 100 bucks in my bank account, I wouldn't have been able to buy any food at all, not even for the cat. So, so you know, I was getting pretty desperate. Um, and then... This place in South Grafton pops up and I'm like oh I don't want to live in South Grafton it's where all the meth heads are and there's crime and, and Grafton people <laughs> I say that I mean my sister lives in Grafton my nieces live in, well, not all my nieces but some of my nieces live in Grafton <laughs> but you know yeah it's just like Grafton specifically South Grafton has really bad bogan meth drug user overtones anyway so I thought fuck it I'm gonna do it I'm gonna put in an application for this place 
Um, it's just actually two units. One faces that way, so kind of northeast, I guess, more east than north. Um, and the other one faces west, but there's only like two windows at the front, and all the other windows are sort of north, south, and east. So, anyway, anyway, that's beside the point. So this is just me waffling. Um, and then I think I put that application in on a Friday. And then I saw that the others, like there's two units, like I said. Um, so I think I put the application in for the other one on the Saturday. And then I found, I thought, well, if I'm going to put in applications for other, for South Grafton places, I may as well continue looking in South Grafton. Found another two places that were a little, that were $30 dearer a week. Um, but still, I didn't want to go over 420 so I put in applications for them as well, which was a whole other story because you, you can't, you couldn't apply for these ones on the realestate.com.au website. You had to go and do it at the friggin' elders' websites there. 30 minutes later, my applications are in. Anyway, I don't know why I'm making this story so friggin' long. <laughs> This will just be a video by itself, I'm pretty sure. Where I've already talked for six minutes. It's definitely not short. Um, so yeah, I think it was a Friday. And then Monday, I got an email. I think was, I, I, don't, I don't think it was a Friday and a Monday. I think, it, but there was like two days. Um, when no other real estate had actually ever emailed me back, this real estate, which is... Uh, Doherty Properties in Grafton um, emailed me back in two days and said do you want to go look at this place tomorrow otherwise you can go and look at the uh, you can go look at unit A tomorrow or you can go and look at unit B on Tuesday so that must have been on oh, it was Thursday it was that oh it was that stinking hot day that's right uh, so I said yeah no no worries I can drive up tomorrow that's not a problem um, and just said to her, you know, you pick a time, I'll just be there. And um, went and, because I was awkward and weird. Well, although she apparently said great things about me, but <laughs> I thought I was awkward and weird. Um, had a look at it and it wasn't, I mean, it's not, it's three bedroom and it's got a single garage, but the laundry is in the garage. So... And, you know, the amount of stuff I have, I can't put my car in my garage, but it does have a spot to put your car, which is the other way, because, like I said, there's two units, and you have to drive past the first unit to get to the second unit. Um, and it's got, like, a little window air con in the lounge room. You can access the garage through the lounge room, so it's not like you have to go outside like I have to do here. Um... It's a weird, it's, a, it's like a little maze, the layout. It's like, because the bathroom's like a walkthrough. Like you go from the, the master into your, um, it's like a walkthrough wardrobe into the bathroom and then out the door into, the, there's a little hallway and then another bedroom. You, you will see it. I'll take a video as soon as I get the keys because clearly I got it. <laughs> Or saving that bib um, and like it's you know it's little I still the more I'm packing the more I'm freaking out I literally don't know where I'm gonna fit everything because so anyway let me do this in order um, uh, I said okay fine I like the place I said so what's next she said well you just have to tell me if you want to go through with it uh, uh, if you want to continue with the application, she said, and then we'll put it, your name in with the um, with the landlord, and then he'll decide whether or not he wants you. And I went, oh, I, said, I don't really want to live in Grafton. And I said it, and it came out of my mouth, and I'm like, the fuck did you just say that to someone who probably lives in Grafton? <laughs> oh, and I just stressed about that so much afterwards. Because oh, I was just like, I was just awkward, because there was another lady there, and I don't know if she was from the real estate, or if she was looking at the place, I don't know. I was just, I was expecting one lady, and there were two. <sighs> I'll, I'll rephrase that. I was expecting one person, there were two. Um, so, 
my expectations were different to what the reality was so that kind of threw me that's why I was being all awkward and stuff and I didn't talk to that lady because I didn't know if they were there like I said because they were part of the real estate oh, looking at the property and I was like oh, I just so I just talked to the real estate um, lady Susan and um, yeah, and I just completely ignored this other person. I was like, oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. I was so stressed when I come home. Um, and I said, yeah, no, right, I, I said, I said, in all truthfulness, I've, I've got an application in for a place at Lawrence. I really, really want that. But it's been three weeks now since I put my application in. And they keep saying that, that 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 no one's been chosen yet that they're still going through applications blah 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 i said so yeah you know what go ahead i said if i get this place i get this place and she said righto so that was on thursday so i was there for probably 10 minutes honestly so i drove all the way to grafton which took 40 minutes although i arrived 20 minutes early so because <laughs> i always arrive 20 minutes early um so I got in my car, drove back home again. So it was like this, you know, hour and a half trip for 10 minutes. Which I could have just not looked at it, but apparently can't do that anymore. So anyway. Uh, so yeah, so that was the Thursday, right? Yeah, because it was a stinky hot day. Oh, Christ, it was hot. And I don't have an aircon in my car. And my hair was pretty, so I didn't want to put the wind down. <laughs> it's like it's like this now. I've got it tied up on the top of my head. But it's very orange which is very nice um and then i got an email no i got a phone call shit was today today's tuesday i got a phone call yesterday yeah it was yesterday uh yesterday afternoon at four just on 4 30 and i don't answer the phone because i don't know who it is <laughs> i don't like talking on the phone um and they and i waited five minutes after the phone call and they didn't leave a message usually people will leave a message and then i still probably won't ring them back and i thought oh fuck, what if that was real estate so i looked up their phone number and sure enough it was them so i rang them back and she said yeah congratulations you've got the property i'm like what <laughs> so all this happened in like the space of oh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Mondays, in the space of five days, where it was t when I just went and cancelled my application for the house at Lawrence, it was 21 days, and not once did anyone ever contact me. So, so I withdrew my application and felt really good about it. <laughs> but yeah, she said, Yeah, no, it's yours. No worries. She said, We'll send through the leases and stuff, and I'm just going to pay a bunch of money now. <sighs> which I'm borrowing off my father, which honestly, I like to say that things don't generally embarrass me, but it does embarrass me and make me feel bad about myself that at this age, I'm having to borrow money off my dad to do something. Like, I'm a grown woman. I shouldn't have to borrow money off my dad, you know, but... Um, yeah, I can't borrow it off a bank. But no, no bank's going to give me any money. So, but yeah, so that's what's happening. Um, the move-in date is, or the, the start of the lease is the 3rd of March. So, I'll just say today's the 7th of February. Um, so, almost a month to go. But I have already been packing just because I have so much stuff. Um, and I'm actually pretty pleased with what I've done so far. I've just, like I said, I've just gone and got a bunch of the boxes from downstairs that I've had since I moved in here because unfortunately I have hoarding tendencies, just like my dad. Um, and the boxes that I had up here, I've almost run out of. But I think I might have enough boxes. I've been freaking out that I wouldn't have enough boxes. But there was a few more downstairs than I expected. So that's good. But it's just, it's it's now a matter of what do I pack and don't pack. Like this cupboard was full of stationery. Like all my notebooks and all that was in that cupboard. I've packed those. 
guess what I got an order for today? Yeah, stationery, gift tags. Well, uh, like I thought, I could pack the stationery because if I packed it and I got an order, it didn't matter, I could just print new ones. So, and I also didn't have that many gift tags anyway. So, so yeah, <laughs> it was just, it was so amusing. But now I'm sort of to the point now, I don't know what to pack. Like I've packed all the things that don't matter, like all the craft stuff that I just use occasionally just for things and like resin and that, because I haven't been making any resin products and that. So I've packed all of that. Um, and like all my, my pop vinyls and that, which I actually have a lot more. <laughs> Jesus. Um, and I only buy pop vinyls that I feel particularly attached to, like John Wick, um, like, like Eddie off Stranger Things, you know, just like, I don't, I wouldn't buy the whole cast of Stranger Things because it doesn't particularly attach to all of them, you know, um, but you know, I'm just like everybody else, I love Eddie. Um, um, yeah, so, but I do have a lot of those. Uh, but yeah, I'm sort of like, now what, what do I pack? Like I started packing the soap just before, which I have more of that than I thought too, because I've already filled a whole bloody container down there. It's still more, clearly, because you're leaning up against it. <laughs> yeah, so, so I do, I pack that and hope I can find it and like, because the container that I put it in, in down there is just like one layer deep. So I'd be able to find the soap if I needed, if someone ordered it. <laughs> And then there's all the sprinkles up here, which, I mean, seriously, no one's bought any sprinkles now for fucking forever. So <sighs> I'm about ready to bin the fucking things, I tell you what. They just sit there mocking me, showing me how useless my decision making is, honestly. That's, that's kind of how I feel when I look at them. It's like I put in all this effort and was so proud of what I'd done. And... Yeah, and it's just, it's just sort of like, it's just looking at me going, oh no, fuck you, you're an idiot. No one wants your stupid shit. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like, okay, you don't have to be so, you know, mean about it. <laughs> but yeah, so I am just sort of at that point now where I can pack up downstairs because um, I won't be making any more soap or candles or melts. I've made a whole ton of new melts that I've just packed away because I just couldn't be bothered taking photos of them, put them on the website because then that would be something else I'm going to have to leave unpacked until I move and it's like, so yeah, I'm not complaining because the best part about this place in Grafton, South Grafton, well, apart from the fact that Grafton has Spotlight, Bunnings, KFC, which I don't need a lot anyway, and Big W and Coles. I'll probably still get my groceries delivered, to be honest. Coles gives me the shits. I hate Coles. No. Um, the best place is the rent's $390 a week, which is $90 less than what I pay now. So I will have $90 a week. That's just like... I went a bit stupid. <laughs> Keely could attest to this because I was, we were messaging <laughs> and she knows I was being mental. Um, the weight that lifted off me because I have, I've just been so, oh, yeah, I, don't, I can't even, like the thought that I was going to have to stay, because they offered me a six month lease for here. So clearly they wanted me to fuck off. Because they didn't even offer me a 12-month lease. Um, and they they put the rent up for the second time in a year. Like, it started off at 470 here. Then they put it up to 480 in the last 12 months. And then now it's going up to 500 And it's like, but oh, we, we value as a, value you as a tenant. And we want to do everything as, everything possible to, you know, do the right thing by you. But we're going to put the rent up another $20 and it was such a such a like a fuck you you know and I thought oh, I just I thought no matter what I had to find somewhere else to live because $500 a week it just I get $510 on Centrelink a week and living on $10 instead of $30 
this is what I said to dad, this house has already broken me. If I had to stay here for another six months, and if I signed a lease, I, I'll, a lease, I would be signing it knowing the house is for sale. So I couldn't actually break the lease. Whereas now I can because I put it up for sale after I had signed the lease. There is a big difference there, in case you didn't know. Um, yeah, I would be signing it knowing that it's for sale, so I couldn't break the lease. So if I did actually find a place that was perfect, I couldn't move out without paying a break lease fee, which is massive. It's usually like three weeks rent or something, and at $500 a week, that's $1,500 just so you can move out. So... Yeah, as I said to Dad, if I had to if I had to pay five hundred dollars a week, it would it would literally kill me. Well, it wouldn't. I would probably because it just. I mean, I have been my mental health. Like I've I, I've gotten pretty bad before, but my mental health in this in this house has just. When I first moved in here, things were really good and it has just gone downhill completely since I've moved in this house. This house, while it did afford me opportunities to spread out and and <laughs> grow the business, which is making no money, so I haven't grown the business at all. Um, I've grown the amount of products that I sell but I just don't sell any <laughs> because nobody wants them. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with my stuff, honestly. <laughs> it's not on so many people's wish lists. Like I can't see whose wish list is on, but the wish list app that I have, the wish list plugin that I have on WooCommerce shows me um, how many wish lists a product is on. And that's it. It doesn't, doesn't show me any other details. It doesn't show me whose wish lists or anything else. Just there's a number on each on where the products are listed there's a number that says zero one two three four four whatever and so many things are on people's wish lists but i get it at the same time like the way things are at the moment i'm not surprised people aren't buying everyone's so unsure of what's going on and everybody's broke and you know, and that's what even the real estate lady said. She said, there have been so many people saying the same thing as you about being turned down for properties and never being turned down before. So, but anyway, yeah, so that's, that's my story. <laughs> so I'm moving and, and, and having the dilemma of what do I pack and what, and what don't I pack and how much of it can I put off until the last minute? Because <laughs> I fucking hate packing <laughs> I hate packing so much. I hate it, which is why I started so early because I I know me and I know I'm going to put things off. I think the thing that I'm going to probably put off the most is the shed because it's full of spiders. I have bought. Hold on up. There's a bottle here. Um, there's this fly spray. You can get. It's got like a long yellow tube, and you like. It's like insta kill stuff. It's it smells foul. And you can hear me, I kind of, I'm all kind of asthma now. <coughs> it's bad, you probably shouldn't be breathing it in. <laughs> but I had that down there with me when I was getting the boxes there. So I was, I was sure I was going to find Hunty in there, because, mate, Hunties love cardboard. No, lots of daddy long legs, but they don't freak me out, daddy long legs. They're pretty cool. But yeah, didn't see Hunty, so that's good. I think I found one red back, which freak me out but I do wore, <laughs> wore my boots down there so here's me in my in my tights and my and my merch <laughs> and boots for fuck's sake I look like a total total twit oh yeah yeah but yeah so I'll probably think I'll probably put the shed off because going down there freaks me out not just because they're spiders but because the amount of stuff that's in there that's gonna have to go in the shed at the new place that the shed's also going to have to be my soap and candle room uh, that I'm unsure how to fit it all in I'm really freaking out there's only three bedrooms right so in this house we have one two we have four bedrooms upstairs so we have uh, my actual bedroom the 3d printer room actually there's another room as well 
So my bedroom, the 3D printer room, the craft room, the sewing room, and then my office. That's upstairs. Downstairs we have a garage and a soap and candle room. And the soap and candle room has spread out over two rooms, one of which is the length of the entire house. I have to fit all that in a three bedroom house with a garage. I'll do it. I will do it. For $390 a week, I, there's a lot of things I will do. <laughs> and clearly I'm going to. Um, but yeah, it's like, oh. So I've got all the photos of it on the desktop there saved. And I just, I'll click one open every now and then I'll go, well, I could put this there and this there. It's like, fucking, what can I fit in the bedroom with me? I was like, maybe I could put all the sewing stuff in there. And it's like, oh no. Because I'll take the littlest room for sleeping. Because sleeping is like, you just go in there and you sleep. You do, why do you need a giant bedroom for that? I don't understand why people think they need a giant bedroom. <sighs> I mean, I could probably sleep in the cupboard if I slept on the floor. <laughs> it's a fairly big walkthrough wardrobe. <laughs> but yeah, <clears throat> so that, this, is, this is where I'm at at the moment. Waffling so I don't have to go and actually do anything. It's 26 minutes now. Oh my God. But yeah, I'll go take you through for a little wander and have a, you can have a look at the, at the, the state of this house right now because holy Christ, that f it's stinking hot today. So here's some of the boxes that I've just bought up. These are the ones I've been getting from uh, IJ. These honestly are the best boxes on the planet. They have lids. You can see the lids down there and they're solid as. But yeah, so I have been packing. So I've got all these down here and I've unpacked all this, nearly all of this shelving except for this stuff clearly um, I tried to tip the lounge because there's a there is a lounge under there I tried to tip it up on its side but it's, <laughs> it's taller than the roof so yeah and um, oh, this this is a box of stuff that has been purchased purely because sometimes I like to reward myself <laughs> oh dear uh, yeah so so this is this is the lounge room. So clearly, I don't sit on the lounge and watch television very much. But yeah, so uh, I, these are all empty boxes, um, except for that. But yeah, so <laughs> the sheets. I gotta go wash those. But you can see, like everything is just it's just well, my bedroom's not a shambles. The only room that's not a shambles, and that's the rest of my pops up there. I mean, this has the least amount of things to pack, as I just have some clothes. A few little bits and pieces and that's it. Say hey Gingy. Hey Gingy. But yeah, so I have started on this room. It doesn't look like I've started on this room. But I actually have because there used to be a cupboard here, which is gone. So yeah, I mean, I have quite a few. I'm going to sell one. So I'm going to keep probably those two and that one. So I'm going to sell four printers. Because I know how to print now. Oh, so yeah, you see. <laughs> all these have been packed, but I've left those on the top just in case anyone buys any. Um, uh, yeah, I, I've, I've figured out how to sort of streamline my printing now, so I actually don't need that many printers. But yeah, you can see all the jewellery is still out. This... These shelves were all full, so I've packed all those away. But all the jewellery is still out because if I pack that, I'm never going to find it. Uh, yeah, and then into the sewing room. We have this cutest cat in the whole world down there. Soxy! Jeez, hello! So that's all my sewing stuff, all my fabrics. A bunch of, fa a bunch of whatever that stuff's called furniture um and if you remember this had all the wired shelving that's all been packed up down there which is great which means it's less furniture for them to take um the other thing i'm worried about is these rooms are so small if i did set up a sewing room i don't think this table will fit in there but yeah i've got like these are no, nothing in there. These are products, so I haven't packed them because they're products. Not that anything from my sewing section actually sells. These are my brand new um, 
tote bags. <laughs> How cute is that? Uh, I haven't got them up on the website yet. I probably won't worry about that until I move. Um, and then in here is a friggin' shambles. Uh, but in saying that, this this was completely packed in under here. These were all full. So I've packed a lot of stuff. I'm actually going to take these apart because I need to make everything as compact as possible. And also, this cupboard was full. And this was full. So all I've got now is the shelves and the bottom of that cupboard, which is Kurt stuff. And same, like all of these were all full, so I packed all of those. Um, yeah, but I think I've done pretty well. A bathroom is something to pack in a bathroom. And then <laughs> it's just never fucking answers. It's like it's meant. I hope someone comes to look at the house to buy it now because I'm not cleaning this up. But yeah, so the squeaky chair came back out for a while um, because I broke the other chair. Then that one is, has a broken wheel, so I took all the wheels off of it. So that was a pain in the ass. He's only breakables to, to, to be packed. And then the office is a goddamn shambles. Have a look at it. Have a look at it. But all the shelving, the wire shelving, the same as what was in the sewing room, was all up here. So I've, I've packed all of that up. I'm going to take these uh, white tables apart because they the legs screw off. I'm going to undo all of those. Um, I'll probably leave two out because though I use those two printers regularly. These two I do not because that's the A3 printer which I hardly ever use. I haven't used in months. And that's the sublimation printer, which, again, I haven't used for ages. Um, so I could probably pack those printers, keep those two out. If I just put those two on two of these tables, then I could pack all of this. But, yeah, this is... <laughs> packing all the stuff in here... <laughs> I'm a mess. Um, all of this stuff is heavy because it's all, like, reams of paper and cardboard and stuff. So I've sort of been... A little dubious about how to pack that because I don't want to make the boxes so heavy that the people can't lift them but also don't want to have like a hundred extra boxes just so that they're not heavy but yeah so currently I'm on YouTube <laughs> look how messy my desk is it's so crazy oh dear but yeah like I mean all this stuff like all up here and like all along all across the top front of the piano here which is not mine thank god that all my pencils, I've packed all my pencils and everything. You can see there's all the containers for the pencils. And like this, I like hold the stuff off the top. Although we do still have a tiny little penis. <laughs> Someone asked me to make that. Oh dear. So yeah, I said I've got breakables. I have a lot of breakables. And then the kitchen bench is just covered in rubbish because I had to bag a soap yesterday and I had to make silicon molds the other day for an order so yeah so it's just ugh, it's just yeah it is what it is and that was that usually sits in there with all the packing stuff on it but um and then yeah these are all my boxes of boxes because if I get orders I need the boxes to put the orders in so I can't actually put them in anything or they're too big to pack anyway really oh it's just yeah anyway all right well that's 34 absolute waffle <laughs> so yes yeah. so that's what's happening so if you don't see any videos for the next month you'll know why um i will video the process of moving like i did before um Try and remember to take a, a video when I get the keys because the day I get the keys I'll probably take a carload of stuff up there probably the printers um, and maybe the like the 3d printers and the and the Ink printers just like precious things that I don't want the removalist to take um, But yeah, we haven't made any phone calls and got any quotes yet because um, 
I haven't actually got the lease yet. I haven't even given notice here yet. When they send through the lease, um, then I'll just I'll go holeless bolus and I'll spend the day on the phone booking things and organising things. I'm going to do a week crossover like I always do because it's the least stressful way to move and I don't care if people think that that's wasting money. Maybe to them it is to me. <clears throat> And you'll find most people with bipolar will tell you the same thing, is that moving is one of the biggest stresses and causes all sorts of strange behaviour. So I want to keep this as stress-free as possible. So if I do a week crossover, all it means is I have to pay rent here for a week and rent there for a week. So it will cost me, whichever way you want to look at it, either $480 or $390 it doesn't matter which way you look at it um, and then that way I have a week and then I organize um, the removalist usually what I normally do is I usually have the removalist come in, in like the first of those three days and then have <coughs> the cleaner and the carpet cleaners although I don't know that I'll I mean the carpet cleaner had this one room with carpet in it and it's this rattan stuff, which I don't even know if you can clean with a proper carpet cleaning thing. Um, flea treatment, I suppose I'll have to do that, even though I did one just before Christmas. Um, and yeah, all that stuff. And then it's all, and then that way, if I need to, like, do trips from this house to that house with things that the removalist can't take, then I've got a week to do it. So it's just. Honestly, it's it's just one of the least stressful ways to move and I don't care that it costs money because For so long my mental health now has just been suffering so badly that I'm just not going to make it worse So that's it. I'm going to shut up now because I'm very thirsty and I need to sit down and put this phone down because it's burning bloody fingers <laughs> All right, well, thank you for coming along. I um Hopefully you're going to start seeing some happier videos from me. Um, I do plan on doing TikToks and shorts and reels and stuff. Probably more than anything else. I'm going to be selling other places as well as just on the website. So oh, I've got plans for the future for the first time in a very long time, which is nice. Um, so yeah, so hopefully things will start picking up.